foreign exploration and adventure is in our DNA. Since the dawn of humanity, we've been driven to explore, from migrating across continents to mastering the seas, flying through the skies and rocketing into space. Our journey has taken us to incredible places, the South Pole, the deepest ocean trenches, and the moon. But now, our next big adventure awaits, Mars. It's no wonder Star Trek captured the imagination in the 1960s with its vision of boldly going where no one has gone before. While we may not have warp drives yet, NASA has a detailed plan for taking humanity to Mars and safely bringing the crew home. Here's how it will happen. NASA's journey to Mars starts not on Earth, but on the Moon. Why? Launching from the Moon is much easier than launching from Earth. Earth's gravity and dense atmosphere create major challenges for sending large payloads into space, limiting what we can carry. The Moon, with its much lower gravity, offers a perfect launch pad for interplanetary missions. That's why NASA's Artemis program is focused on not just visiting the Moon, but establishing a permanent presence there. NASA's Artemis missions will turn the Moon into a true spaceport. Artemis isn't about just planting flags, it's about survival. The missions will focus on in-situ resource utilization, finding water and oxygen on the Moon, mining lunar rocks for metals, and creating the infrastructure for a sustainable presence. Artemis 4 through 10 will teach us how to live off the land, or rather, the lunar surface. Alongside this, NASA is building the Lunar Gateway, a space station orbiting the Moon, which will serve as a key outpost for deep space missions. As we build up our presence on the Moon, NASA will also ramp up its robotic exploration of Mars. We've already seen success with rovers like Perseverance, but the future holds something even more exciting. Flying drones on Mars. The Ingenuity helicopter proved we can fly on Mars, and this opens up incredible possibilities for exploring the planet's surface. NASA will also send a new Mars orbiter to act as a permanent station for future missions and sample returns. But everything leads up to the ultimate goal, sending humans to Mars. Let's dive into what that journey will actually look like. Before humans ever set foot on Mars, NASA will send multiple supply drops ahead of time. These pre-deployed cargo missions will ensure that the crew has everything they need to survive on the Martian surface and make the return journey home. Artemis 10 and 11 will deliver these critical payloads, which include a 25-ton Mars lander with propellant, a power source, and mobility equipment. Alongside these supplies, a Mars ascent vehicle will be pre-deployed, waiting on the Martian surface for the astronauts to arrive. By the time the crew gets there, they'll have all the tools necessary to return home safely. The biggest mission before the humans arrive is Artemis 12, which will deliver the Mars One human lander and the Mars Transit Habitat to the Lunar Gateway Station. This station, orbiting the Moon, will serve as the departure point for the manned mission to Mars. Once everything is in place, we'll be ready to go. NASA's plan for getting humans to Mars involves a spacecraft with a hybrid propulsion system, both chemical and electric. This will allow a crew of four to journey to Mars and back. Two astronauts will stay in orbit while two land on the Martian surface. The surface crew will live and work in a pressurized vehicle that serves as both a habitation module and a rover. This will be their home for 30 days as they explore Mars. Upon landing, the astronauts won't immediately be able to walk around. After months in zero gravity, it will take time to recondition their bodies. The Habitat rover vehicle will allow the crew to continue exploring while they recover. Driving across the Martian terrain 
to conduct their science and exploration missions. Landing on Mars is no simple task. Mars's atmosphere is thin, too thin to slow down a spacecraft using just parachutes, yet thick enough to require heat shields during descent. NASA's Perseverance rover landed using an intense process involving heat shields, parachutes, and a jetpack-like device called the Sky Crane, which lowered the rover gently onto the Martian surface. For humans, the landing will be even more complex. We can expect a combination of heat shields, parachutes, thrusters, and potentially a propulsive landing system. One thing's for sure, landing on Mars will be a nail-biting ride. NASA has two different mission profiles for Mars, a short stay and a long stay. Short stay. The journey to Mars takes 2.17 days, boosted by a gravitational assist from Venus. The astronauts will spend just 30 days on Mars before beginning a 403-day return journey. That's a total mission duration of 650 days. Long stay. In this scenario, the outbound journey takes two 10 days with a direct course from Earth to Mars. The crew will spend a much longer four, nine, six days on the Martian surface before making a quicker two 10-day return trip. This brings the total mission duration to around 9,660 days. The long stay will require more preparation and infrastructure, but will also allow for much more in-depth exploration. While NASA's current Mars mission plan is based on existing technology, the future holds the potential for much faster trips. NASA and DARPA are working on a nuclear thermal rocket engine, part of a program called DRACO that is a demonstration rocket for agile cislunar operations. This engine could revolutionize space travel, making it three to five times more efficient than chemical rockets. With nuclear propulsion, the journey to Mars could be cut from eight months to just 45 days. Faster travel means fewer supplies, reduced radiation exposure, and overall safer missions. If all goes well, we could see the first nuclear-powered spacecraft heading to Mars within the next decade. Of course, space missions rarely stay on schedule. Delays are almost inevitable. But despite this, humanity's relentless drive to explore and conquer new frontiers will keep pushing us forward. We have a long history of achieving the impossible, and Mars is the next great challenge. The journey to Mars is in our nature. It's not a matter of if we will go to Mars, it's just a matter of when. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on space exploration.